Greetings, I'm Chef Eric Crowley, owner of the Culinary Classroom in Los Angeles, and today we are going to make for your Valentine's Day loved one, red velvet cupcakes. Ready? Let's get started. The ingredients for our red velvet cupcakes are as follows. Two and a half cups of cake flour, one and a half cups of sugar, one cup of buttermilk, one and a half cups of vegetable oil, two whole eggs, one teaspoon of uh, baking soda and one teaspoon of salt. We have a quarter cup of cocoa powder, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract, two teaspoons of distilled white vinegar and three tablespoons of red food coloring. Our first step is we're gonna take most of our dry ingredients and we're gonna sift them together. We're gonna take our flour, our sugar, baking soda, and our salt. Okay. Sifting is really important when it comes to making cakes for the primary reason that we wanna be able to get all the ingredients blended together. Sifting is also gonna help work out any lumps, and those are our sifted dry ingredients. Forgot to sift my cocoa powder, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it right into here. Stir it together with a whip, and that'll be just fine. Next up, we're gonna wind up taking our milk and we're gonna add in our white vinegar into it. Okay, and stir that around a little bit. And you're actually gonna notice a little bit of curdling when you start to stir it on up. That's absolutely fine. Second bowl right here, it's gonna have all of our wet ingredients, the oil, eggs, vanilla, red food coloring. Blend it up really well. And then we're gonna add in our milk and vinegar mixture. Our next step is really just a, a classic, what bakers call a straight mixing method. We're gonna take the wet ingredients, pour it into the dry, stir it around just until it gets combined, and then we're gonna be ready to bake. Wet ingredients are gonna go in just like that. Gonna give it a gentle stir. Notice I'm not gonna take the whip and really start to uh, vigorously stir. I don't wanna work up a lot of air into the batter. I also don't wanna build up a lot of gluten in the flour. Gluten is a really important component with uh, almost all baked products. It is a protein that's uh, vital uh, or existing in wheat more than any other grain. And you start to activate it when you start to get it wet. So here I have just a standard muffin pan that has uh, 12 cups in it. I've got it lined up with 12 cupcake liners. This particular recipe will actually make two dozen. What I find works really well to fill them. It's just a nice little ice cream scoop. You could even use a spoon or you could uh, use a ladle too. Uh, very common for cupcake recipes. We wanna fill up the pan about two thirds of the way full. I'm gonna take a nice little scoop full of batter. Get it into my cupcake pan. You can see with the size of this scoop, I'm just about getting two, two, two thirds of a cup. You'll also notice that the cupcake batter is actually gonna come up on the side of the paper. That's absolutely fine. You'll also notice that the cupcake batter may actually um, not be totally smooth on the top as with this one here, that's fine as well. And after they're all filled, just take the pan, give it just a slight little tap, even give it a little bit of a shake, and then this guy is ready to go into the oven, okay? Really make sure that you're in the center of the oven, and in about um, uh, 10 to 12 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and bring the cupcake on out, and we're gonna test it with a toothpick. If the toothpick comes out clean with no crumbs sticking to it, that's it, they're done. When they come out, they should have a really nice puffy top. And when you wind up taking something like a, a pick, you should be able to go in and out of the cake 
and it should actually come out clean. Notice I've got a couple of little crumbs sticking to the end of the cupcake. That's fine, okay? If you wind up baking it to where the pick comes out absolutely clean, your cupcake is gonna be completely dry. So now that my uh, red velvet cupcakes are out of the oven and have been allowed to cool off, I'm ready to decorate them. I commonly wind up utilizing my cream cheese frosting, a recipe of which you can find elsewhere. And I'm gonna wind up taking a cupcake Got my cream cheese frosting inside a pastry bag with a star tip, and we're going to basically make some nice little rosettes on top of our cupcake. You can even get the frosting to come in contact with the paper. And maybe get one large rosette right in the center and then we're gonna finish it off with a little decor, just a little heart-shaped candy that you can get at the supermarket. You can maybe even get a couple onto the plate. And that is our red velvet cupcake for Valentine's Day. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click other links on the site to find other recipes. Also be sure to subscribe so you can see other treats that I'll be baking. If you can't find something that interests you, go ahead and send an email to requests at mahalo.com. See you soon.